makes me crazy I dream about a baby Gazing on days and contagious You're my baby All right, y'all, let's jump into this very first song. Let's get the Wednesday night started. This is uh, Butch Walker, Race Cars, and Goth Rock. Is that is that the right title? Mm -hmm. Race Cars and Goth Rock? Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, yep. let's get into it. Let's get it started. Shout out to Daisy for this one. All right, here we go, y'all. Right, check it out. Hear like the little country in there too yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, I did. I, I had to peep that too. So this is almost like a little love letter or a breakup letter. Basically, that's what it that, sounds like. That he's like. writing to somebody. Mm. Uh, hey, we know all about those. We had a whole <laughs> live stream on breakup songs. Yeah. Yeah, we did. There it is. You're the one that caused this crash. So basically, she left him for somebody who probably, who had the grand piano and the mansion. I wonder if it was like somebody that was like just trying to like, because it sounds like he's coming from just, just regular background, but then it almost sounds like, you know, she was too good for him. Like, you know, trying At to least she thinks she was. be better than he was and be better than everybody else. And then he was just like, I, you know, I'm just like a broke down Camaro that's overheated and just like busted up and regular. And you just this California girl, like, uh, you know, California gridlock basically, where it's like, you trying to do <laughs> too much to prove yourself to other people. That and California it, lifestyle. And that's not who the person that you really are. You know what I mean? Like, that's what it sounds like to me. And he just like, yeah. <laughs> ain't gonna work because we don't we not we not meshing baby. yeah and i don't and i don't think she's gonna wake up anytime soon from this dream that she in yeah at the end of the day i feel like he wants ramen noodles she won't lobster bisque <laughs> you know what i mean lobster bisque lobster bisque 
What is lobster bisque? B I S Q U E. I know what you spell it. That's what she wants. I don't know what that is though. I don't know. It's supposed to be some kind of soup that <laughs> tastes like lobster. Why you just gonna say I don't know? I don't know. It's supposed to, babe. But that's what she. That's what she wants. You know what I mean? He got a broken down overheated Camaro, and she trying to ride in a Rolls Royce. Basically, you okay. Know? That's what it sounds like to me too. Yeah, but she definitely left him for another guy. Mm -hmm. That mm -mm -mm. at the at the moment right now it seems like he could the other guy could offer her more. Right. Mm. But 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 think about that a house that's so big that a grand piano looks small. Right. And he said that's what he said. That's yeah. Small things amongst other things that he's small in. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like you all this other stuff, material type stuff, the big houses, the nice cars, and all that stuff is what matters to you. I'm just. Just get me the broke down, little busted up Camaro with yeah, the situation. Yeah, he said he come from broken cars and pop rock. Right. <laughs> broken cars and goth rock. You think people do that though? Like, can you be too good for somebody and just think that you don't want to talk to them because you think that you're too good for them? Like, based off of like what you see from your over, like your first overall perspective of somebody, but they could be like really good people. Yeah. And then you like, mm mm. Mm -mm, I don't want to oh, cause you, cause your backyard look like it, it doesn't suit me. No, but check this out. <laughs> oh, like, can you do it? Like, but check this out. I saw a post the other day about like females and females going out on first dates with dudes. Yeah. And, and this female literally like posted and made a video and pretty much tried to out this dude saying that on the first date, don't take me to like no cheesecake factory or something like that. Well, where's she supposed to go? She make it seem like she she's supposed to go to some Del Frisco or or like some uppity restaurant like Ocean Prime, and she made a post about that. I take I you thought, to McDonald's. You I, don't play with me. I thought that was like the most <laughs> bougiest thing ever. That is bougie. That's bougie, and I'm like, how how, how she gonna be bougie and, and act all high class and and high fashion when when I looked on her, she had she had like Dookie braids in her hair, and she looked ghetto, and I was like, she she boo ghetto. Like bougie and ghetto, bougetto, bougetto, bougetto. <laughs> no, it's actually like a real thing. Like a lot of f females are commenting on things like that. As far as like where a guy can take you on on the first date, I think that's acceptable. Social media has taken over like the mind frame of like what regularity is, like what real people are these days. Because it's like you see stuff on social media, people doing stuff like that, but you go above and beyond to like try to meet those expectations when. That's not who, like, you don't even have the means to meet that expectation. So why do you expect somebody else to do that for you if that's not even what you can do for yourself? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Like, I, that's, that's probably what's wrong with her. She looking at social media too much and then thinking, oh, well, you know, like, and she, and you she, know, no, but she was mad. Chris Brown is doing this every time he go out with a girl. It's yeah. like, well, that's Chris Brown. You just regular jegular. <laughs> you bougie. Okay. And, and 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 she made like a. It was like a live stream. Like she was li going live from her phone, and she didn't want to get out of the car. He was trying to open the door and, and help her get out of the car. She didn't want to go into the cheesecake factory because <laughs> she's like, y'all, look, he took me to the cheesecake factory on a first date. What <laughs> girl? You better. That's better than like you know chilies. I mean, what? <laughs> it's supposed to go. What if a female? What if you took a took a female out on a first date, and and she and she was like acting like she don't want to cut the steak. Where she like, if you're my man, you gonna cut my steak for me. I'm not doing that. Who do you think you are? <laughs> like, <laughs> who do you think you are? That's my only thing. Boo. No, mm -mm. I'm not gonna do that for you. Right. But no, they was like, if he don't cut my, if he don't cut it, cut my steak for me. That he's not a keeper. I'm just like, yo, y'all, y'all taking this way too far. See, but as far that's as the thing. expectations for men on a first date. Okay. On the first date, I'm not even trying to take you nowhere to go eat. We're just gonna sit somewhere and have a conversation. We gotta get some things scored away before I take you out. Custom your body, boy. I'm addicted. Insisting commitment, predicted your intentions.